Welcome to Bridge the Atlantic, where we get to know the people behind the creative industries. We're your hosts, music web designer Ross Barber Smith, owner of Electric Kiwi, where we create awesome custom websites for bands, artists, and musicians. And I'm singer songwriter and multi instrumentalist Marcin Novelli, a proud dad, lucky husband, and crazy vegan. And this week, we're joined by one man band, Matt Wade, aka My Silent Bravery. Following a sports injury in his youth, Matt has turned physical adversity into musical success with numerous placements on TV, college radio play, and nationwide tours under his belt. A strong belief in paying it forward, Matt wants to inspire others through the music of My Silent Bravery. He shared the stage with artists including Daughtry, Delta Ray, Howie, Day, and Tyler Ward, and has released four full-length records independently. I can't speak, apparently. With his most recent breakthrough due for release in fall 2016, we're excited to hear about what he's got coming up and the advice he'd offer to his fellow musicians. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Welcome to the show. What's up, guys? Thanks so much for having me. We uh, are. Are we having him or is he having us? I think we're all having each other. Wow. <laughs> that sounded Ooh. very... Wow, that's that was, happening. Uh, I like it. You know, well, I'm going we're with not it. Even a minute we're going to go show. with it. Talk yeah, about paying just, it forward. <laughs> wow. No <laughs> kidding. Exactly. Now, you know what? We, we I think we we've started this off uh, more awkwardly than usual, <laughs> so we might as well move forward with that awkwardness and have you tell us three things. I'm about loving yourself. it. I love I love the awkwardness. Uh, You're doing great. Tell us three things about yourself that everyone should know. Everyone should know. Uh, as you mentioned um, at the beginning, love to pay pay it forward. I'm very much into the spiritual thing. I've been studying Kabbalah for ten years. That's a big part of my thing. It's helped inspire the music. Big sports fan as well. Boston sports, Patriots. The, that's my team. For all the haters out there, uh, I understand it, but they hate us because they ain't us. And uh, I'm also a very big family guy, uh, very family orientated. You'll see like a lot of my pics I post are with my parents and you know I, a brother who I'm very close with, and so big big family guy too. So yeah, we mentioned in the intro that uh, a physical injury led to you pursuing music. Um, I'd Correct. love to know a little bit more about that. Um, you know, is, is music something that was always in your heart or was the injury just something that made you, um, you know, take it seriously? Um, well, going back to the injury, I was 21. I was traveling in Australia. I was in the gym working out and I herniated a couple discs in my neck. I came back to the U.S. stateside and sought treatment. And it was very adverse time for me because usually when something happens in life, it's like you just go to the next step and it's pretty clear what you need to do. In this case, I was seeing multiple doctors and no one knew what was wrong with me, but I was just in a lot of pain physically. So it took just like a lot of soul searching in order to finally find a doctor um, that was able to help me in addition to soul searching, physically searching, getting out there five, five years looking for doctors. And that also, I found the doctor that's been helping me, you know, through my spiritual studies. And I think as a result of that, that led me to pursue my passion for music, which growing up, I always loved music, but I was just playing sports. So I never really had the time to get after it. So finally, uh, you know, just had the time to do it and, and went for it. Well, I find it interesting because sports and music often do not go together. Like you often find people that are really like myself, actually, uh, that's really into music, not really that interested in sports. You know what I mean? I'm interested in fitness. Definitely. I'm, I love running and, and biking and, and exercising and everything, but just nothing. It's not something that's ever interested me. Right. So I find that interesting because mm-hmm. that's pretty rare. That yeah, someone's that I'm- into sports as well as music. I, uh, it just always growing up, I was always outside and playing sports. And then, um, so I didn't have the time to pursue the music, although I always had a huge passion for it. I'd go see all kinds of shows. And, um, you know, I also, I'm one of those guys where some people are, are born with it per se. And I was not one of those guys, man. I had to work <laughs> really, really hard for every right, right, right. iota of any type of musicality. <laughs> so, uh, I just had the time, you know, after the, yeah, the injury yeah, and just, yeah. Put in, put in the work. Nice. Yeah, really nice. We love that. Um, I particularly uh, love your message of paying it forward. Mm. <clears throat> um, I think it's really important. So I really love you to tell us a little bit about why you feel it's important, uh, how you do it, and how you would encourage others to pay it forward. Well... I, you know, for me, I think it's definitely a different and personal thing for each person. So I definitely recommend that each person, you know, kind of goes about it and what feels right to them and organic because 
to be honest, it didn't always feel right to me to pay it forward. And I think that's one of the reasons that I had to go through the injury. And it really made me look inside myself and realize for all the reasons that you do things, it's usually, it's kind of like you need to be in two places at once, I guess is the best way I can describe it. In that, like for me, music, I have a lot of personal goals and aspirations, but at the end of the day, I realize I'm nothing without all the fans that listen to it. So you really need to be in two places at once, I think is the best way I'd, I'd describe it. Um, and in terms of paying it forward, I, I like to do all sorts of charity work. I usually like, you know, it to be more, I don't like to brag about it per se or, or, or chat about it, but I do a lot of volunteer work and, and sort of do it behind the scenes because to me, that's what feels right as opposed to, you know, like I say, I guess bragging about it or putting it out there because I think that that makes it more meaningful. And I think too, um, it's just, like I said, I think it's a personal thing for some people. And, um, that's, that's the way that I like to go about it. But like, just in terms of the music, you'll hear all kinds of songs about, um, you know, motivating people can't quit is like a big song. It's really cool for me. I get, you know, a lot of fans that reach out and say they're going through this life uh, challenge and obstacle. And I can really relate having gone through the injury that I uh, went through and, and still go through um, on a daily basis. And it's, it allows me to connect with the fans that much better. And so, you know, that's a big part of what my silent bravery also means to me. It's just like that persistence, that, you know, overcoming of your obstacles to get to the other side. And I think that the real way you do that is through paying it forward. And again, being in that two places at once where it's, it's not about you, it's about you and other people, you know, it needs to be bigger than yourself. Absolutely. Um, I think any of us who are driven individuals, whether or not you're in the entertainment industry or not, um, I think we can definitely get self-absorbed. It happens to all of us. It really does. Just because, and it's not necessarily like we're doing it on purpose or or because we're selfish. It's because you're so driven on a particular goal and you want to get to a certain place, quote unquote. You know, there's never really a destination. You know what I mean? Um, right. But I think, I love that. It's a reminder that we do need to remember that it's not just about us, you know, and, and you give, give a little, you're actually going to get a little bit too. Maybe you don't. That's not why you should do it. But it's just about putting good energy out too. I mean, I, I just recently uh, <laughs> just recently saw this thing floating around the internet, and it was—I uh, I guess I can't remember the guy's name right now—but he, he he does insp- inspirational talks, and basically, someone quickly stopped him and said, "Give me three wo- three words to help me through the day when I when I'm having a rough day." You know, three words of inspiration. He said, "You're gonna die." <laughs> and she's like, "What?" He's like, "You're gonna die. Do something about it. Think about it. Wow. You're gonna die." And yeah. that hit me. I was like, "Holy shit!" I, I, if any uh, anyone That's listening, motivation or, right there. It is right. Anyone listening or watching this, if uh, if you can help us remember, find out who that was, because uh, I think it was great. It was really good. Uh, it Very definitely puts things into perspective, but it does shock yeah. you at first, right? It's like, oh shit. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, because they're probably sure. not the three words you're expecting no. to hear. But it's um, how you. It's your perspective yeah. on it. It's not mm-hmm. it, absolutely. You know, it is the ultimate truth. There's nothing else we know other than that, <laughs> right? Um, Seth and taxes, so they say. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So, uh, moving on to to, yep. to back to your music a little bit. Uh, your latest single, "Drunk Off the Sun," is yes. out now. Um, love to know a little bit about, more about that and your upcoming album, Breakthrough. Yes, super excited about it. It's very much a fun, uh, upbeat, feel good summer song. It's a little less. Uh, deep than some of my others but it, it the idea is just to um you know enjoy and embrace life um i got a video it's going to be premiered on axs um and that's uh you know very soon so the album's coming out this fall it's nice. called breakthrough uh 13 tracks and i'll probably have another single out prior to that as well so nice. the goal is right now two singles this summer and then the record in the fall I like it. Nice. Yeah, awesome. And that'll be your fifth independent release. Is that right? Correct. Um, you know, I also, I got a demo in there before and I also, we did a remix album, uh, which I don't know that I consider an, an official, I think mean, it's an official it's release, release per yeah, se. But not, yeah, not but an not, album. Correct. So right. this is, you know, the fifth one in terms of um, what I do, my, 
my main, my main, my main bag, your, if you your will. Thing. Your <laughs> thing. thing. <laughs> you, you, will you ever? Uh, do you think you'll ever do a music video that combines your music and love of sports? That's a great, great question. I, I might have to do it now. Yeah, I, I'd like to. <laughs> you do and I that. can do a race. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put that up there and store that uh, for go. later. That's cool. It sounds good to me, <laughs> man. Um, I want to know if you are ready for 20 questions. Let's do it. Hit are me you, with are it. Are you sure you're ready, man, though? This I is don't like, know. I think, we'll I see. Think, this is I a sport. I think Matt is more ready than anyone That's we've right. ever had on you, the show. Oh my you would gosh. know, man. I mean, this is not a competitive sport. Well, actually, it does end up being a competitive sport. We'll see. You'll, 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 you can relate this to sports. Here we go. Coffee okay. or tea? Tea. Meat or veggies? Uh, veggies. Yes. <laughs> I get so excited when someone makes veggies. It's ridiculous. I haven't caught myself on that one. If you said pizza, I, I would have gone with that. <laughs> <laughs> so would I, actually. <laughs> TV or Netflix? TV. Twitter or Facebook? Uh, Twitter. Football or... Ba- what the fuck was that? I I'm, <laughs> and I'm the one who tells you that this has got to be uh, fast. 20 questions has to be fast. And I'm the one taking forever. Football or baseball? Uh, American football, yes. I don't know. Ross wrote this one. Uh, so probably. I probably would have put, put soccer. If football. I yeah. Football, for sure. So, Boston or New York? Boston, hands down. Education or experience? Oh, jeez. Education. CD or vinyl? CD. Twilight? I know. What's that? So that might not be the most popular answer, but CD for sure for me. Uh, I, love I, love the, too, I love the but... I love the CD test in the car. When you get, yes. when you get your record, and you go and throw that in the car. It's, a, uh, in it's the an car. integral part of the, the process. I have right. mixing engineers that do that. Throw, you can't throw your record like in the <laughs> car for the listening <laughs> test. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Twilight Take with the 100 player in there. What's that? Uh, Take the whole freaking thing oh. in there. Imagine the skipping on a on a car ride. Oh man, oh, that'd God. be the worst. Oh. It'd be all oh. scratched and everything, like in Amazing. one car ride. Ugh. Twilight or The Hunger Games? Ooh, I would go. I like I like the early uh, Hunger Games, but uh, not the later so much. So I'm gonna go Twilight. All right. Talent or attitude? Attitude. Studio or stage? Ooh. Studio. Now, I think I know the answer to this one because I, I was looking through your Instagram earlier. Bob Marley or Bob Dylan? Bob Marley, but I like Dylan a lot. Game I, got a great, I got a great Marley story, actually, for, for later, or a Whaler's story, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, I, we won't do that during 20, during lightning 20 well, questions. You know, it's not like anyone else here has completely like, made 20 questions go from a lightning round to a friggin' like, I don't know. <laughs> slow sitting on the beach and i was the most the ready slow. ever of any of I any know. prior guests too you know i'm throwing i'm throwing in curveballs at you though you know that's what i'm doing right, right now see so we're carrying uh, on this metaphor well, if we have time doing? later remind me to tell you a funny whaler story okay. cool. <laughs> game of thrones or the walking dead game of thrones that finale man Whew. last two episodes her, I, I don't watch the show but people are going nuts about it so yeah, yeah. it's on my list i've been told over and over that i need to watch it so gotta I do will. it i will i'll do it. it for you i'll do it for you awesome awesome batman or superman christopher nolan batman yes <laughs> batman um, here's a controversial one michael jackson or michael bolton mj baby michael jackson now i know you like your 80s hair metal so Van Halen or Skid Row? Skid Row, man. I used to have posters on the wall. Skid Row. Now, did you have posters of any of these two? Celine Dion or Marilyn Manson? Neither of those. Um, I did. <laughs> ooh, that's a tough one. They're, they're, well, they're, both, super one. Talent. they're both super talented. Uh, I'm going to go Celine Dion. My producer, Peter Zizzo, was a uh, Celine Dion. Okay, uh, there we tracks. go. Did some tracks with her. So. Oh, nice. Give, give Petey a shout out. <laughs> Whale or kale? Kale. I went with veggies. Why not kale? But you got to keep it consistent, man. You're winning. You're winning my vegan heart over with this stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Bet Midler or the Riddler? I don't know what. Bet Midler. 
And the final question to uh, finish off this very, very long 20 question <laughs> segment, I think actually I will say probably our longest. Oh, no, 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 no. I think we've had, had a 20 one? question section that lasted like 20 minutes <laughs> before. Like seriously. Earlier, and- earlier? Earlier in, yeah. our early, in our early yeah. days. When people thought that they needed to justify every single answer and would give like, us a whole story about each thing, which is why we're now very clear <laughs> hey, it's a lightning yes. round. It was our fault lightning. for not being clear enough. It was our yeah. fault. Not we our weren't guests. strict enough. Stop, stop blaming yeah. our guest, Roz. Stop it. Jeez, Sorry. this is what he thinks of our guest. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Look Final at you guys question. going on and on during during the lightning 20 questions. I know, during right now, during your episode, right? Look I know. We're Sorry, we're, um, Unbelievable. we're ruining your time. So <laughs> your, your final... Your final your final heartbreaking question yes. is Ross or Marcio? Oh, jeez, You guys are killing me with that one. <laughs> I, I got to go. I got to go Ross because he booked me and he was flashing across the screen earlier. And he got he got in my head psychologically. Why do we have so. to ask this anymore? I don't remember the last time I was picked. I'm pretty sure it was I 50 episodes I remember. before. Oh, did we have one in the last? He remembers. Episode? That's why like I remember it. <laughs> What's gonna happen when we don't book when you don't book our episodes anymore? They're just like not. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, that's like, gonna be interesting. Mostly, I'm just gonna make sure I get to everyone first. Ross usually like <laughs> is the one to take care of actually booking the episodes. So that's an important guy know to Ross be. a little more, important you know. Yeah, we do. We he helped me through some tech issues earlier too, so we it's, bonded. Yeah, this is true. I, I don't, you know, it's it's the price to pay. It's the price to yep. pay for uh, you know, not not being as good looking and um. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I was Me trying neither. to, I was Me trying neither. to make something out of it. But well, you're not really ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I know. But I know. You know, I really love you. So I love I you know. both. How's that? I love oh. you both. It doesn't really too little too late. It's but anyway, it's just fun. <laughs> it is too little too late. I'd really like to know if there's one thing that you know now that you wish you knew when you first started in the music industry. Yeah. What would that be? Like, what would you tell your younger self that you wish you knew? Um, I've been thinking about that a lot recently, actually, because um, things more recently have been feeling a lot more organic and sort of go with the flow. I think the younger me, and I, and still now, I'm a very ambitious kind of guy. Like, I want to get from A to Z, kind of like we were talking about before, but as we all know, there really, there is no Z. It's a constant process and journey as opposed to destination. But I think uh, me now would tell me, the younger me, to, to be patient and to work with people um, mm-hmm. that I really enjoy working with. Just to really work with people that that you enjoy working with and that you feel that bring out the best in you because I mean, I think the entertainment business, as we all know, is pretty cutthroat and there's all different kinds of ways you, you know, and directions you can go. And I think you really need to stay true to yourself um, as an artist. And I think, like I said, work with people that you enjoy working with that feels right. That feels organic that, you know, you're not just checking off a box that you're accomplishing things that you feel good about at the end of the day. And, you know, it's a career, but you know, most musicians were so passionate. I mean, it's our, it's our life. It's like, it's our, it's our blood, sweat and tears, you know? So I think at the end of the day, you want to just look back and feel great about all the things that, you know, that you've done and, and, and have enjoyed the process aspect to it as opposed to just like, you know putting it out like if i had told myself you know i'm, I'm on record number five now who would have who would have thought it you know back then but it's it's there's been a lot of different processes and steps and different people that i've worked with and they've all you know they've all been great but i think um now i'm just at this place where like i'm really trying to enjoy the process and enjoy what i'm doing and um i think when I'm enjoying it more, it, it lends itself to other people enjoying the work more. And I think too, as I mentioned before, um, you know, being in that two places at once thing and just recognizing, you know, that uh, my thing, I don't think is, it, it can't be anything unless it's about other people too. So those are a couple of things that I'd like to go back and tell, tell the younger me. 
I relate to a lot of that, what you said, and particularly, um, well, you're, you said you're a spiritual person. The, the whole, uh, you know, the old saying, you want to make God laugh, tell them your plans. And I said, tell them your plans, not him or her. Tell them your plans. Um, you know, I, I think the younger, <laughs> actually, I, I, I have some younger cousins. I love them to death. I really, really do. And it's just really funny when, when they sit back and, and, and tell me their plans for life, though. So they're either in their late teens, early 20s. And it's the idea of like, when I'm this age, I'm going to do this and then this and then this going to happen. I'm going to have kids at this point. And it's just like, mm-hmm. And I just kind of smile. You know, can't say anything because I know I did the exact same thing. And, you know, my aunts and uncles kind of smiled, you know, like, yep, that's totally, everything's going to work out exactly the way you plan it. It's like, no, you need to move with the flow too. And I think you actually miss out on a lot of opportunities um, that you, you, I'm sure you've looked back. I've looked back. Wow, there were so many opportunities there that I was blinded by or blinded. Uh, I, I couldn't see them because I had such a narrow, narrow view of where I wanted, yep. you know, and that didn't fit in my little world, you know? Totally. So, I mean, totally. we, we've spoken to a lot of people on the show and the common thread seems to be follow your gut and take opportunities. Notice when they're yeah. there and that seems to be the two most important things and you seem yeah. to be right along with that. And I think I, the patience yeah. thing is important as well yeah. because um, <clears throat> I think we have to remember that there's no such thing as an overnight success and I think a lot of people feel that they're failing if they're not achieving things as fast as they maybe perceive other people are. Right. Um, and it's really a case of, you know, these people that have achieved quote unquote overnight success, it's been 10 years in the making. So, you know, there is a rare one. Thing. There is a rare one that has like of a course, viral yeah. video out of nowhere go or whatever. Or they've paid a lot of money for fake views or something like that. But I know I'm with you, man. Like 99.9% is just not yeah. like that. And the patience is so important because it's, I think it's often, you know, people quit right at that moment just before something's about to happen. And if you can just hold out that little bit longer, yeah, you know, you just have to, you know. It's a marathon, not a sprint, right? There you exactly. go. Man, Matt, you're, totally. you're, I, I love chatting with you, man. You, uh, you, you've got a great personality, but you, you know, you, you're, you're serious about what you do, but um, you don't take yourself too seriously. And that's, I think that's really important. That's what I live by too. Yeah. Take your work seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously. Right, you got, you got to have fun with it. You got to enjoy yeah. it. If you're not, if you're not enjoying it, what's, what's the point, really? Absolutely. Yeah. And I want people to to follow you online, and I want them to to uh, learn more about you. So where can they do that? Um, they can do it. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everything's at my silent bravery. Perfect. So, consistency um, is key. Yeah, consistency. You know, YouTube, we got got one of those. Uh, what else? Pinterest, whoever does that. You know, What's that? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> awesome. So every, like, yeah. everyone needs to go find you online, man. Yeah, please do. Please do. I also like I'm one of those guys that I interact with the fans, yes. you know, it's so like when they, you know, they you get care? somebody, it's it's me. <laughs> well, that's it. I mean, that's, it, it that's another that's another thing I've realized like over this process too. It's like it's it's totally about your interac- interaction with with the fans and the people mm-hmm. that enjoy what you do and friends and the people that you meet along the way like you guys and I think that's another thing that I've learned too in doing this for a long time is like you, you, you need friends, you need allies. And mm-hmm. I think it's, it's, it's great when you naturally and organically connect with people, you know, and you enjoy that process. Like today has been a lot of fun. I think we've had, you know, we've been laughing the, the whole time from before everyone else uh, tuned in, you know, and uh, it, that, I think that's, that's what it's about, man. Awesome. awesome. Enjoying the process. Totally. Uh, as for our show, you can find us all on Twitter, Facebook, iTunes, YouTube. Uh, go to our website, which is bridge-the-atlantic.com. All the links are on there. Make sure you subscribe and follow and, you know, speak to us. We like to interact. We want to know what you're liking about the show, uh, you know, who you want to see on the show. Just get in touch. You know, we're, we're pretty friendly. Hopefully you can tell. Um, yeah, just get in touch. It's fairly friendly. We, we, we try. Relatively. Ra- not, to each other, but, uh... no, not to each other, but... Not to each other. We're really friendly to our <laughs> listeners and our guests. Yeah. It's not to each other. As for me, I'm working on my second solo album, and you can be a part of it at marcinavelli.com slash pledge. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, which are all my name, Marcinavelli. And I'm working on websites for various artists just now. You can check out my work at electrickiwi.co.uk, and you'll find me on Twitter and Instagram as Electric Kiwi, and Facebook, Electric Kiwi Design. This episode was brought to you by Chris Keaton, the rock star advocate, Buck Naked Soap Company, and Social Surge. All links are in the show notes, so please check them out because they keep this show alive. And if you'd like to sponsor the show, visit patreon.com slash bridge the Atlantic. 
Awesome, Matt. Seriously, thanks so much for coming on, man. Thank you guys for having me. I had a lot of fun. Same. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. All right. Yeah, take care, guys. Thanks for watching Bridge the Atlantic. If you like what you saw, make sure to like, favorite, and most importantly, subscribe so that you don't miss each week's episode. Please feel free to leave us a comment letting us know what you think of the show. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and subscribe to us on iTunes so that you can listen to us on the go. Thanks again for being awesome, and we'll see you on next week's episode. Awesome.